Hi, this is uh, Maya 7. It's a simple tutorial from uh, Maya 7 on a uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation. And I try to put it in a video for YouTube so that it can be downloaded for an iPod. Uh, someone called me and said it's not enough when, when you have a picture, but you need sound too. So um, I decided to give it a try and see how it works out. This is a general screen to give you an overview, but no details. And here we click on the second blue item from the left, the cube. We activate the cube with the move item icon on the left in the so-called toolbox. There is a square around it. This is the middle of the screen where every primitive object comes in Maya 7 when you click on it. After activating the move tool, see page 4 for the real PowerPoint users, we lift the cube with the left mouse button on the y-axis, the vertical one. Here we probably touched it, so it changed position a little, shown by the change in color on the y-axis from yellow to green. Confirmation of what was said on page 7 for the PowerPoint users. Change in translation not only for the Y axis but for the X and the Z axis as well. Overall view, just to get the idea where we are. The colored arrows have changed to little cubes at the end, a sign that we modify the dimension instead of the position of the cube. We change the size of the cube with the left mouse on the x-axis. Here it shows in the difference of scale on the x-axis. Here the change in dimension is shown at the icon in the toolbox, the one with the square around it. Here we change the size on the z-axis, which changes color to yellow. This is the confirmation of this change at the right side of the screen, scale z. Here is the cube that we shaded. That's all, folks.